everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Bethany if you're new here and I am currently a mom of two and I'm actually pregnant with my third. And I am so happy that you're here because today I'm going to be talking about my first trimester must-haves, essentials, and some really great tips as this is actually my third baby, like I said, and so I have gone through the first trimester a few times. And so with my personal experience, I'm hoping to share a little bit about what you can do to help yourself survive and thrive during the first trimester because I personally think it is one of the hardest times in your pregnancy, at least it is for me. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first things that I'm going to go through are actually some products that I think are super helpful and that have really helped me during the first trimester of my pregnancies. So the first thing on my list is a prenatal. So it's highly recommended for you to start taking a prenatal vitamin actually even before, before you conceive. And so I've been taking the Materna Nestle um, prenatal and it's the prenatal that actually has not made me feel sick at all. Um, I take it with my breakfast in the morning time and I have zero sickness. It is fairly reasonably priced. You can find it on Amazon or at your local drugstore or grocery store. And I have found this one super helpful. And yeah, make sure you guys are looking into a good prenatal for, especially for the first trimester and for the remainder of your pregnancy. Next, you're going to want to find a good pregnancy app. So the apps that I have used are the Glow app and the Pregnancy Plus app. And I find both of them are really great. I use both of them during this time. Find which one works best for you. There's a lot out there. There's some like the bump or what to expect. And so you're definitely gonna find ones that you like the best. And it's great that you can track your pregnancy, it can give you some tips. It can actually give you some support as the one I use, Glow has an online community on there, which is awesome and it's super helpful to just see how you're doing, what baby, what's going on with your baby, and it's just really fun to kind of see how your pregnancy is progressing on an app. So here on the Pregnancy Plus app, you can actually see your baby and how far along they are and what they look like. This app is super fun, and my kids love looking at it and seeing how baby's progressing, and I didn't know that there's actually sound on it, so that's pretty cool too. Another good thing on my list to have for your first trimester is a pregnancy pillow. Pregnancy pillows are basically just this massive body pillow that either can wrap around you or wrap on one side of you. Um, you can even use like a body pillow, but I have found that this has been so helpful for sleeping, especially in your first trimester, you feel so incredibly tired. And I know for me, it's just debilitating. So one thing that I know that I like to have while I sleep is a pregnancy pillow and you're gonna use it as your pregnancy progresses and as you get bigger and more uncomfortable, but it's just good to have something to help you sleep, especially in the first trimester. Plus they're just super comfy and even my husband likes using it sometimes. Okay, so another thing on my list is a good water bottle. I have seen some that actually have certain times of the day on them and they want you to like you can drink like water and like get to that goal of like that time those are pretty cool and then also I, ha I have my yeti yetis are just honestly the best i've had mine for a year now and i use it almost every single day it keeps hot things hot for so long and my ice water is icy even the next day it's amazing so you're going to want to be drinking lots of water so get a good water bottle or something that'll keep your water nice and cold or whatever you prefer because you're gonna be drinking lots and I get really, really thirsty. So I always keep this full during the day. So another thing that I find super helpful in my first trimester is getting some sort of skin oil for your belly. I know you might not be getting very big at this point, but in my third, having my third baby, I was showing at basically like nine, 10 weeks. Like I was already having a bump. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna start oiling up my belly and moisturizing it as soon as possible. So I have been using this oil. Um, it smells amazing. It's all natural. It's awesome. I've talked about this a few times here on my channel. This is the Coco and Shea coconut oil. I have the link to everything down below for you guys. And I also have a discount code for this. And I usually just put this on my belly every single night um, before bed. And it smells so good. And I just wanna keep my belly as moisturized as possible as I anticipate getting some stretch marks possibly 
in the next few months here. So another first trimester must have that I have absolutely loved using is my fetal Doppler. So this Doppler is not to replace your care of your doctor or your midwife or the hospital or anything like that, but this is just more fun for you to hear your baby's heartbeat. You can start using this at around nine to 10 weeks and it can be kind of hard to find your baby's heartbeat at first. Um, so don't be alarmed if you don't find it. Sometimes it's even hard for doctors and midwives to find them. But once you do, it's such a fun thing to have. And especially now when people aren't really allowed to come to your appointments, it's just so great to have this at home for your loved ones to hear the baby's heartbeat. And I know that my kids love hearing it. My husband has been able to hear it. And it's just so awesome. And this is reasonably priced too. I think this is around $50. I'll have the link down below for you guys for this. It's just been so much fun. I've had this for my son and now for this baby and I can tell you it's so much fun to have. So I only use this about maybe once a week or if I'm feeling a little bit anxious and just feeling a bit off, I'll pull it out and use it and just hear baby's heartbeat and it kind of makes me feel a bit better. So anyway, Doppler is another one too. Okay, so when it comes to pregnancy just in general, I like to be comfortable and I definitely take comfort over style like any day, but it's always fun to look like a little cute <laughs> because I mean, who doesn't want to feel good? Especially when you're pregnant, your body is changing. You just want to feel super comfy. So a few things that I find that are a good must have, not just for the first trimester, but for all your pregnancy is get some good pregnancy or high-waisted leggings. I'm just, oh, I'm sitting on, okay. Okay, so these are actually high-waisted leggings that I got from American Eagle or Airy, and these are the offline high high-waisted leggings, and they are so comfortable. If I could wear these every single day, I would. Just because when you're in your first trimester, you start to get really bloated and you feel uncomfortable. You may get a little crampy, which is totally normal. And I just don't want anything digging into my stomach when I'm feeling that way. So a good pair of pregnancy leggings is definitely a must have. Also another must have and feeling comfortable is a good comfy bra. So I stopped wearing underwire in my bras when I became pregnant with my daughter. And that was over like five years ago. <laughs> just because I just find it so uncomfortable. And so once you become pregnant, your body's gonna go through a lot of changes and that's including your breasts. Unfortunately or fortunately, they are going to change. And being comfortable is just so important to me. So I got this bra from Airy and it's this rib sports bra and it's been just heavenly. I have one in black that I'm wearing right now and it's awesome. So highly recommend these. Okay, so another must have that I have on my list or just something that can really be helpful to you is if you're having some um, upset stomach issues, which is totally normal for this stage of pregnancy, is to drink some ginger ale. Ginger can really help alleviate some of your morning sickness. And I'm extremely thankful that I have not gotten really sick during my pregnancies, but I do get an upset stomach. Um, and I found that ginger ale just really helped settle my stomach. I've even seen like ginger sparkling water and I've heard that that can help really, that can help too. Or ginger hard candies to suck on. I've heard that really helps. I definitely recommend ginger ale. It's been like so good to me recently. So <laughs> that's been really good. Okay, so now that I've shared with you some of my favorite products and must haves, I am now gonna be telling you some of my tips I have for you for the first trimester. Okay, so my first tip is get some rest and try as hard as you can to nap. I know for me, I feel extremely exhausted even before I take a pregnancy test. As soon as I become pregnant, I just become extremely exhausted. I feel like I cannot function normally at all and I'm dragging my feet all day. From the time I wake up to from the time I go to bed in the first trimester, I am just absolutely incapacitated. I'm so tired. So my biggest recommendation for you, if you're feeling this way, is to rest. And that might not mean taking a nap for you if you're not able to, but if you can, do it <laughs> because you will need it. Um, just because there's so many things going on in your body in the first trimester, and of course, throughout pregnancy, um, it's taking a big toll on your body and rest is super important. So definitely rest, take some time to intentionally rest your body. Okay, so another thing that I like to do in the first trimester is make a list. 
of all the things that I want to accomplish before baby comes. Now I know that you have around 40 weeks and so you have a lot of time to work with to get things done. But for me, I like to plan things out and I feel a little bit more prepared when I get things done before I become super, super uncomfortable and I just am not able to get a lot of things done later in pregnancy. And also I like making a list of projects I'd like to get done, but also a list of things that I'm looking to purchase and things that I need for this baby. So I personally am going through a lot of the things that I have already and I've already been making a list of things that I need because even after two babies, even though I have quite a bit already, I am looking to replace some things because things get worn out. So in my first trimester, I kind of made a list of things that I'm wanting to accomplish and things I want to get during this pregnancy and then once i can kind of check a few things off there it just feels good to get it all done and by the time i'm you know late in my pregnancy then i can feel a little bit more at ease and maybe not as stressed out another thing i highly recommend is join a due date facebook group so right now i'm actually in a canadian moms group for july 2021 babies and so it's just incredibly helpful to have this community of other moms who are going through the exact same thing as you and i know that we're not able to say meet someone at the park or you can still you still can but things are just a bit different right now and even throughout my first and my second pregnancy i did this as well and so it's just incredibly helpful to see how other moms are doing and some of their questions and you can ask some more experienced moms or just feel more supported if this is your first time. So basically you can just go on Facebook, type in July 2021 due date group and something will definitely pop up for you. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, that's basically what I use Facebook for. It's just like all of my groups that I'm in and I just find it really awesome. Another piece of advice is to eat what you can. So during the first trimester, I know so, so many women struggle with morning sickness and it is just so incredibly difficult. And so eat what you can. Don't feel guilty about not having a super incredibly well-balanced diet when you're in your first trimester. If you're not able to keep anything down, just eat what you can. So if you are able to eat even just some saltine crackers, that is a win. And you know what, don't worry about your baby. If your doctor is concerned, they will help you. Um, ask them if you need help. Um, they can put you on some medication if you need, or you can just get some advice from them during this time as well. Don't put too much pressure on yourself because this is the first stage of you growing a baby inside of you and you're going through a lot of changes. So my biggest advice, just be easy on yourself. Allow yourself to rest. Be in tune with your body and listen to it when it needs to rest and when it needs to eat or if it just needs <laughs> just a bit of space because I know during this time it's definitely the hardest time in pregnancy for myself as I am just constantly moody and grumpy and tired and especially with other kids to take care of, it can be difficult. So give yourself some room to just take care of yourself and make sure that you're doing well there during this time as you grow another little one. So I hope you guys did enjoy this first trimester must haves and tips for not just surviving, but thriving in the first trimester because I know I needed some encouragement during this time. And I find that now that I'm in the second trimester, I'm feeling a lot better and I am just excited to be continuing to progress in my fourth pregnancy with baby number three. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. I hope that you can subscribe to my channel and join me on my pregnancy journey. And yeah, we'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.